What's good, Bass Drop Militia? In today's video, I'm gonna answer all the questions you have about the magical butter machine. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright guys, Bass Drop Keys here. I'm your friendly neighborhood Negro, and we're back with another video. If this is your first time on the channel and you're interested in more things dealing with the magical butter machine, cooking with cannabis, and all the things that we do on the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you get every notification whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, so check this out. If you've been following the channel recently over the past six months, the channel has actually grown from 4,000 subscribers to 13,000 subscribers and we went from 340,000 views on the channel to over a million. Now one of the main reasons why we were able to do that over the last six months is because about five, five and a half months ago, I started doing videos with the magical butter machine. I was one of these people who thought that edibles was a scam. I used to get edibles that came from California and different parts. Uh, legal parts of the country, 100 milligrams, 500 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams, 1,500 milligrams, and not feeling anything, not getting anything. I was under the impression that edibles was just one big scam. That is, until the good people at Magical Butter sent me a Magical Butter machine. I initially had reached out to them because I wanted them to sponsor a giveaway for my group, DYD420. We have over 40,000 members on Facebook. Feel free to join if you want to come join. We would love to have you. But I contacted them to do a giveaway. When I did that, they were like, we already know who you are. We like what you're doing. Instead of doing the giveaway, we want to send you a machine. We want to actually see you use it. We want you to make some content with it. Just tell the people honestly what you think. So they sent it to me. I started using it. And man, since day one, it's just been fantastic. And now that I have a lot, and I mean a lot of experience in doing edibles, I'm here to answer the most frequently asked questions dealing with the Magical Butter Machine. As I told you the last six months because of the Magical Butter Machine, we've actually added 200,000 views to the channel just thanks to the machine and by doing the videos with the machine. So I have a lot of experience and people have been asking a lot of questions on those videos. So I'm here to answer the top questions for you today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's start with question number one. Here we go. All right guys, so question number one is, does the Magical Butter Machine smell a lot? I get this question all the time on all the videos dealing with the Magical Butter Machine. One of the most asked questions, 100% is, Whenever you're using the Magical Butter Machine, does it smell, does it reek up your whole house, and that kind of thing. The answer is no. Once you put, you know, whatever you're gonna put inside it and you close it up in the, the lid is sealed, you don't even smell it while it's going. The only time that you really smell it is whenever you are decarbon the cannabis, and then whenever you take the cannabis out of the oven from decarbon, and you actually open that up, you get a little waffle smell there, but when you're running the machine, you don't smell anything. Like I said, if you're if you're smoking inside the house, you smell more then than you actually smell with the machine. So the, the quick answer is no. It will not stink up your whole house. You don't have to worry about you know having that problem whenever the machine is going. Uh, it is uh, sealed tight and you don't get that smell at all. So you don't have to worry about the smell whenever the machine is going. Let's go to question number two. All right, so question number two has to deal with what is the minimum amount and the maximum amount that you can actually make in the Magical Butter Machine? Okay, so the minimum amount that you can actually do with this machine is two cups or 475 milliliters. The maximum amount that you can actually do with the machine is five cups or 1180 milliliters. That's the minimum and the maximum that you can actually do with the machine. Also, going along with that same question, people do ask about trying to run the machine uh, when you have less than the minimum or whenever you have more than the maximum. Because of the sensors, the sensors are there to make sure that it doesn't overheat. So it will not work if you try to actually run it and you put less than the minimum amount in there. The sensors will not be able to sense 
that there's actually enough in there and to keep it from overheating that actually will not work. The same thing is whenever you have it over because it doesn't want you to overfill the machine and have it overflow. If you're over the maximum amount, the sensors will also not allow it to work. So the minimum, two cups, maximum, five cups. If you try to run it and you're not within those parameters, the machine will not run. That's question number two. Let's go to question number three. Here we go. All right, so question number three has to deal with the self-cleaning uh, function on the machine and how to clean it in general. So it does have a self-clean function on here. What you wanna do is you just wanna fill it up with water in between the two, uh, in between the minimum and the maximum. Just put, fill it up with water, put a little bit of dish soap in there, plug it in, hit the button that says clean, let it go, and then as soon as it's finished, you can go ahead and uh, pour that out and wipe it out. As far as the outside, you wanna do what's a, you know, a car wash and you just wanna wipe it down you know, with a wet rag or something like this. The black portion of it, the top portion, where all the electronics and the sensor is, you don't wanna ever submerge this in water at all. Never submerge this with water. The most that you wanna do is just, like I said, just take a towel or a napkin or whatever you use in a dishcloth and just wipe it down that way, like a car wash, you know what I mean? Wipe down the outside. But to clean the inside, you use the self-clean or uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put some water and some soap inside of the bottom part, you know, and actually clean it myself. You can do that as well. So self-clean is an option, no problem. Or you can do like I do a lot of times, put some water in there. Not the black part, the silver part. Put some water in there, soap in there, clean it like you would in the thing else. Pour it out, dry it out, just like that. Remember, don't submerge the black part in water ever. This is where your electronics and all your sensors and everything, this is like the, the brain of the machine. So you don't ever want to submerge this part in the water. All right, so that's question number three. I hope that that helped you. Let's go to question number four. Here we go. All right, so question number four has to do with decarbon the cannabis. I always get the question, does the magical butter machine actually decarb the cannabis for you? And the answer to that is no. No, it does not. You have to decarb your cannabis first if you uh, actually want to use this because what you have to do is you have to take that THCA that's in the cannabis and you have to turn it into THC. And that's why we're decarboning your cannabis. So uh, the Magical Butter Machine people, we do have some products on the website, uh, a decarb box if you would like to use that. Also, I show you on the channel how to decarb your cannabis using your oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So does the Magical Butter Machine decarb cannabis? No, it does not. You actually have to decarb it yourself before you actually put it in here. Now let's go to question number five. All right, so we've come to question number five. This is the last and final question for this particular video. And that question is, how much does the machine cost? So if you're actually interested in getting a Magical Butter Machine, I am an official affiliate for them now. As I told you, I am a believer in the Magical Butter Machine. Ever since they sent it to me and I started using it, everything has changed as far as how much rest I get, as far as how I feel about edibles and what I know now what they can do for you and how they can help you. I'm very aware of it now, all because of them. So if you're actually interested, all you have to do is you have to click the link that's in the description. It's gonna take you over to the website and you will see that the Magical Butter Machine is actually $175. Also, they have some bundles on there where you can actually get, you know, more than one thing. You actually get a package deal for a little bit more money. Now, if you use my name, Base Drop Keys, Base Drop Keys, just like it's spelled on the channel, you can actually save 20% on your order. So instead of that 175, if you use my name, Base Drop Keys, you can actually take off uh, 35 bucks off of that and you'll be getting it for around $140. If you have a little extra money, I would advise you guys to actually look into the bundles because those bundles, instead of paying for everything individually, you can get everything together. So how much does it cost? It's 175 unless you're getting the bundles. And then like I said, the bundles, they cost a little bit more, but you're getting more uh, with it. And the ghee butter, the chocolate, the decar box, the love glove, everything that you need. If you want to order it from the Magical Butter Machine, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. It's gonna take you right over. At any point, no matter what you're ordering, 
you can use my name, Bass Drop Keys, and you will get 20% off your order. 20%. That's a good deal. That's a real good deal. So I hope that this video helped you. I really enjoy using the Magical Butter Machine. You guys have seen me make butter without the Magical Butter Machine right here on the site. And you always have to come back and check it every 10 minutes, every five minutes. Check the butter, check the water, check the double boiler. Make sure it's the right temperature. Do all these other things that the Magical Butter makes it very, very easy to take away all those things that you have to do. All you do is you, whatever you're trying to infuse, you put it in there with your decarb cannabis. You hit one button for the temperature, one button for the time, and that's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to come back and keep checking it over and over again. Make checking the water, checking the temperature, stirring the butter, making sure everything. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Also, you can use the machine for oils, butter, tincture, lotion. You see me use it for a lot of different things on the channel, and I'm going to be actually teaching you guys how to use everything that they offer. Like I said, I'm an official affiliate now, and so I've already done over 50 good eats 420 videos on the channel those were made possible by the magical butter machine because the oil the everything that i'm using to do it i make with the magical butter machine so if you have any questions about the machine at all put them in the comment section i will see every question and i will answer anything that you have you can expect more videos with the magical butter machine in the future like i said we've already done what 51 uh, goodies video so far and we got a lot more coming up so if you have any questions please just let me know no problem if you're interested in getting the machine click the link that's in the description go over pick whatever you want to order make sure you use the code base drop keys my name and you will get 20 percent off your order so guys thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you i'll be seeing you guys really soon until next time guys Peace and good eats.